would you call it? Passion, enthusiasm, some kind of. How, what's the ad budget behind this? Can we put that out? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Tom? What is the biggest, uh, I guess, the most important character trait that you would say that you've developed over the last, it's been a couple years that you've been in the mortgage business. It's been 17. 17 years yeah. that you would say to someone, hey, uh, work on this and this will help you get uh, create meaningful relationships. I think a lot of it is um, sort of what she was just touching on, especially with Neil, is um, you know just determination, perseverance. Um, I remember when I started in the mortgage business, or uh, my first manager gave me a book called uh, Rhinoceros Success. Oh wow! And it's a little you could read it in a in a night easily, but um, the whole gist behind the book is basically like go out and be a rhino, you know, be thick skinned, you know, be the man, just just <laughs> you know bulldoze through everything and just take it head on and. Yeah, you know, whatever happens, it doesn't matter. It's not going to hurt you. Like, you're, you're, you're still in charge of it. And um, I actually go back and read that book maybe, wow. like, once a year. And like I said, it's a real quick read. But it's, um, it really puts things in perspective for you. You know, it, it, it's real easy to, you know, lose a referral source over something. You know, somebody gets a new in-house lender and, you know, the broker's forced them to use it. Or, you know, a relationship just goes south. That happens sometimes, too. Um, it's real easy to just sort of sit there and feel sorry for yourself. And, and I did that, you know, two years ago. I lost, mm. in the same week, I lost like two very good referral sources from the same company. And um, yeah, it was nothing personal. It just is what it is. And, um, you know, instead of really going out there and, and digging in and like, all right, well, you know, I got to replace them basically. You know, or rekindle them, one or the other. But I didn't. I just kind of sat around feeling sorry for myself and got away from that whole mindset of mm. being a rhino. And, um, you know, once I sort of pulled myself out of that and, and, you know, Hey, listen, nobody else, nobody's giving it to you. You got to go out and get it. And once I started doing that, it, it was right back. And then, you know, I had my number for that year and the next year went up and, you know, this year going up again and, you know, 2019 going to be even bigger. And, you know, with, um, with the people that I have coming in as, you know, I'm trying to hire, you know, other loan officers from, from my branch, you know, that, that's kind of one of the things I really try to instill in them is like, listen, it, it's, it, it's, a, it's a numbers game. And you can't be afraid of the nose. I, I have a buddy of mine that I used to go out with all the time back when we, you know, before we were, any of us were married or anything. This guy this was, sounds... for, for, <laughs> for, for as much as I think I'll talk to anybody, I mean, this guy would walk up to any, any woman in the bar. You know, you pick out the best looking woman there. He'll walk right up to her, talk to her, get shot down, walk away with a smile. Mm -hmm. He loved getting shot down because every no was closer to a yes. Wow. And you got to have that mental toughness to be able to accept the no's to get to the yes. And, and that's something I think a lot of people, you know, very easily lose track of. 